She says that you came to her in 1999 at a time when you were having an affair. She says you asked her, sir, to enter into an open marriage. Would you like to take some time to respond to that? No, but I will. Republicans hated that question. They hated it so much that they gave Newt Gingrich an immediate bump in the polls just for hanging in there and answering it. The Republican Party chairman, Reince Priebus, has been making a lot of noise lately about not wanting to allow John King or anyone else from CNN to question any of his Republican presidential candidates ever again. He also wants to ban anyone from NBC from participating in the Republican primary debates. The Republican Party's latest idea, as floated in the Washington Examiner, is to have this guy ask the questions. The Georgetown student who went before congressional committee and said she's having so much sex she goes broke buying contraceptives and wants us to buy them i said well what would you call someone who wants us to pay for her to have sex what what, what would you call that woman now there's a republican presidential debate question for you what would you call that woman that's right. Republicans are now leaning toward having right wing radio talk show hosts Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity and Mark Levin moderate their presidential primary debates. I actually think that's a very good idea. I think partnering with talk radio, and there's a lot of good people out there that, that can actually understand the base of the Republican Party, the, the primary voters, parse that out in a way that actually provides some substance to the Republican primary voters and what they actually want to talk about. Today, Rush Limbaugh said that his moderating the debates is a wonderful idea, but it is not without its problems. Me and, and Sean Hannity and Mark Levin would uh, nominate, uh, moderate uh, Republican primary debates. And I, I, I think I'd overshadow it. I think I'm too famous. Joining me now, former DNC chairman Howard Dean. Uh, uh, Howard, you are our resident expert on presidential debates since you've actually been up there on those primary stages. Uh, how much difference does the moderator make in these things? The moderator makes a difference because the moderator can ask tough questions. I actually think it's a terrific idea to shut out all neutral people because what's going to happen is when these guys all get in the same room, they go absolutely crazy. And they're going to say some really crazy stuff. So, I mean, I, I, it is true that John King would ask them tough questions of the kind they would get in a general election. What Sean Hannity and Rush Limbaugh will do, other than make the show about themselves, is ask the kind of questions that are going to, feel, that are going to appeal to the foam at the mouth uh, I hate immigrants, I hate women, I hate gays, uh, Republican base. And that is just exactly what lost Mitt Romney the election. Well, uh, one of the uh, people they're talking about, Mark Levin, has already said he's against Chris Christie. So he's already declared himself against one of the possible candidates who would be on the stage. Uh, but it's also kind of inconceivable to me that Rush Limbaugh, if he was up there, wouldn't engage in the debate himself, I wouldn't, at the end of an answer, say that's wrong and make his argument. Well, if you look at those talk show hosts, they're almost all, all most talk show hosts, to be fair, on both sides, but particularly the right wingers. It's really all about them. It's not about the politicians. They're probably incapable of actually moderating a debate. The debate would be between them. I can see the question now. Uh, don't you think that so and so in the Republican Party is soft on immigrants because? Uh, they might let them uh, have citizenship in 400 years. And, oh, yeah, it should be 600. You know, right, right. This is made for, uh, this is what we want. Let, let's listen to the kind of moment that uh, the Republican Party fears. This is a, a Wolf Blitzer during one of the debates last time had this follow-up question. They're going to listen to this. But Congressman, are you saying the society should just let him die? Yeah. No. Well, yeah. So, uh, Dr. Dean, there's Wolf Blitzer saying, are you saying that society should just let someone die, basically because they don't have uh, uh, health insurance and can't, can't get it? Um, and that's precisely the kind of thing that they want to keep out of this debate. But this is not the right way for the, look, far be it for me to give the Republicans any advice about how to moderate themselves. But you know what happens when a bunch of like-minded people who can gin themselves up get in a room. Uh, they start agreeing with each other. They start trying to outdo each other. Each one tries to be more right-wing than the other. That's not where America is. 
America is not where the Republican Party is. That's their problem. And I think they're going to find that out in 2014, not just 2016. And they, they won't be completely safe on Fox News if uh, some of the people there, like Brett Bayer, have anything to say about it. Let's listen to one of the very memorable questions, important question, that he asked at one of these debates last time. Say you had a deal, a real spending cuts deal, 10 to 1, as, as Byron said, spending cuts to tax increases. Speaker, you're already shaking your head. But who on this stage would walk away from that deal? When you raise your hand, if you feel so strongly about not raising taxes, you'd walk away on the 10 to 1 deal. It was that famous raise your hand moment. And, and it seems to me that what that shows is uh, there, there really won't be a way uh, for them to manage to have completely safe debates, uh, no, no matter who they end up choosing. Yeah, if they want to do this, they'll have no debates whatsoever, which, of course, is not going to be permitted. Because what happens is, and, and the truth is, CNN is not going to get stuffed. What will happen is CNN will offer a debate. Uh, the people who are not in the leading positions will accept the debate. And then the pressure will be on the person or the people who are in the, get in the top two or three slots to accept it as well, which is how it works. It worked with that way when I was the DNC chair. We really can't, you can't control what the media says, what the media does, or even your own candidates. So this is all silliness and truth. It's a lot of fun to speculate about what it might be to wa like to watch Rush Limbaugh mo moderate a debate about whether women are sluts if they take birth control or not. But the fact of the matter is he's not going to get that chance because these networks are going to offer the time for the debates and the candidates are going to accept them no matter what the chairman of the Republican National Committee says. Former Governor Howard Dean, thank you very much for joining me tonight.